Hey there, Samantha Garrett here. And today I wanna to show you how to make the most of the focus time feature in Google Calendar. Now I love this feature because I love the idea of focus time, right? I always think if we wanna get something done, we actually have to block out time in our calendar to do it. Because then A, we actually know that that's what we're intending to do at that time. But B, it also prevents other things filling up our calendars and other people booking things in time that we mentally put aside for doing work. So I wanna show you how to use this. Let's jump in now and take a look. Alrighty, so here I am in Google Calendar. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can create focus time. Uh, but before I even show you that, let's just think about what this is, right? Focus time is an event just for yourself. So it's not about booking time with anyone else, it's booking time for yourself to get something done. So we could come up here to the create button and you'll see we have focus time option here or we could just click on a time slot. So let's imagine I wanna have some focus time Wednesday morning. I might wanna have a good uh, three hours on Wednesday morning. So I'm gonna click on that. Um, and when the little uh, event creation box pops up here, you'll see we have focus time as an option. So straight away when we flick to this, the options we have change, like we can't invite people and things like that. But let's look at what we can do. So of course we can set the date and time. We can um, mute our chat notifications. So this is great if you use Google Chat and it's actually on by default in that it will put you in do not disturb mode. If you use Google Chat, I highly recommend leaving this setting on because it just means you don't have to worry about putting that on straight away, you know you're not gonna be interrupted. Now, if you like, you can also automatically decline meetings during this time. So this is great if you work with people that might kind of ignore the focus time or you just wanna make sure that that is fully protected. So you can click automatically decline. You can decline um, existing ones or new and existing ones. Um, I typically just do it for new ones. If I'm gonna decline an existing one, I tend to do it manually and just you know send a little note. But with the new ones, you can pop in here a little uh, custom message. So you might say something like, sorry, can't meet during that time. I, I really need to you know, focus on getting some stuff done or whatever. People are usually pretty good if you're protecting your time, just pop in that message there and they'll get that automatically. Now, further down, we can actually add a room and stuff, which is great if you wanna book a meeting room for yourself to work in, but I just tend to work at home, so not so much of a big deal. <laughs> you can add a description and attachments. Now, this I really like. Along with using the subject well, the focus time subject and description and attachments can set you up for success in that you can be really specific about what you're going to do during that focus time. So how I do it is I usually do focus time and then I do like dash and I say what I'm gonna work on. So I might just say work on new video plan, for example. And then down here in the description, sometimes I actually pop in bullet points of what I want to achieve during that time. Um, and I can also add attachments, which might be particular files or something that I want to be working on. So yeah, this just means that when it's time to come to your, you know, to do your focus task, you can jump straight into the calendar event. Everything you need is there to get started. Now, next one down, uh, we've got, it's in my calendar, which is fine, but I wanna show you in terms of the color as well. So this is super useful to me. So with our colors in Google Calendar, we can add labels to them. So I'm gonna add a label called focus time because, let's just get rid of this one, because if I do, whoops, uh, I'm gonna have yellow. If I have that and save it, what's gonna happen in just a minute, if I select that, you'll see focus time now, when I save this, it's gonna show up in my calendar in a different color. So I know straight away that, hey, that's my focus time. And of course, it's got the little headphone icon, so that's an indicator as well. Now, what I've found as well is like, once I've scheduled a couple of these focus times with that label, then automatically whenever I schedule new focus time now, it, it uses that label automatically, so it learns. But if you've got some in there, like see, I've already got focus Friday here and it's not got that label, I can just right click and I can pop my focus time on straight away. Um, this, in this case, it's a recurring one, but I'll just pop it on one. Cool. So. Other useful thing about this is that it feeds into your time insights. So they live over on the left-hand side here, time insights. And you'll see here, it's looking at the week of the 4th, the 10th, 10th of September. And you'll see it's got a lot of yellow and a lot of blue and not so much blue. So it's actually telling me if I just hover over here, I'm gonna spend six hours in focus time and two and a half hours in uh, other time. And there's nothing impersonal. So that's another one of my labels. So what this does is pull from those labels that you can create. Now, if we click on more insights, it's gonna load up here on the right-hand side. Now, it does take a minute to come up, so you do need to be patient. 
Alrighty, so as you can see, it gives me the same sort of little graph in terms of a time breakdown, so I can see how much I've spent by color or by type. So you can see here by type, it looks at the focus time and then time meetings with a certain number of attendees and stuff like that. Um, but if I go back to the color, super helpful here. And then further down, it gives me all more information about time in meetings on certain days, people I meet with, etc. So this is just really useful when you're reviewing your week and you're finding out how much time you're spending in different types of um, activities and when you do put your focus time in then you've actually got a really good indication of how much time you're actually spending getting work done. So that's it for focus time. I first had at the start, I really love this because I think scheduling time to do work is such an important step in actually getting things done and not letting yourself get distracted. And then also not having to make a decision at the time of having a free block in your calendar, what you're gonna do with it, right? You can do some pre-planning. So I would love to hear um, what you think about this feature. Do drop me a comment if you wanna share and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you want more Google Workspace tips and tricks. That's it from me for now. See you next time.